So this was the task given for us. Develop a controller for a keypad matrix is shown in a figure and show how to connect the controller to the gum net. That means how to connect the keypad controller, keypad controller to the gum net core. All right, that connection you need to show. Use output port address four, output port address four for the matrix row and the output register and input port address four for the matrix column input register. So this is what is being given there. So the solution, the controller connects to the gumnet core on signals. The controller connects to the gumnet IO signals on one side of the keypad controller, row and column signals on the other side as shown in the figure. So one side gumnet core is connected on this other side, uh, keypad matrix is connected. We decode the port address from the gumnet core externally to the controller to derive the strobe signal for the controller. So how it is being done? So you can see this. So you can see this gumnet is here and keypad controller and the keypad. Right. So how many rows and columns are used? How many columns are there? How many columns? How many columns? How many matrix keypad it is? How many columns are there? Four. Columns. Three columns. Three columns. Columns one, two, three. Three columns. And how Four many? Rows. How many rows? Four. Four. So that's why it is. That's why it is one. It is four cross three matrix. So four rows are there and three columns. So, so totally how many? Four three are twelve. Twelve keypads you can connect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The zero, then star and ash. So this is the keypad. Now see only just keypad if you have you can directly connect the keypad to the gumnet core no problem but the gumnet whatever it is doing the job it has to leave all job aside and it has to only sit and scan the key pressed which key is being pressed just reading the keypad only the processor time will go so what the processor will do it will take all n number of n number of other controllers are there that's why you can see like how the hierarchy principal cannot do all the jobs so that's why there are n number of HODs. then there are n number of lecturers like that it is so uh, only the gumnet processor if it wants to do all the things what all peripherals will be connected keypad controller uh, keypad will be connected right then if you want to do a to d d to a converter that job will be there interrupts job will be there so many jobs will be there. So if the processor starts sitting and doing uh, the, that job only, the parallel processing will not happen. So all the end things will be given to the sub microcontrollers. So they will be what? So main main processor, then these are, will be the slaves. They will do the job and they will give. So here also, whatever keypad is there, this will be scanned. Now you think if you have pressed four, so what the keypad controller will be doing, see there, keypad row is there, keypad column. So this will be three lines, this will be four lines. So it will be continuously scanning the keys, whichever key is being pressed, that data will be sent to the controller. So see their data out is being connected back to the port data I, see there, gumnet core, right? Then acknowledge also is being connected. That means once the data is sent to the controller, technology is being connected. Then what will be the other things you need to connect? See there, port data 0 is connected to data i. Then the address, address, so key port address and the address sent on this will be compared if they are equal. And if the proper strobe is there, then only the strobe signal is sent to the keypad 
controller then what else you need you need one more very important signal that is read and write signal we signal there right so as it is high whenever high signal comes it will be uh, written and uh, read write enable this is we correct right? so writing will be on high then reading will be on low signal right so these are the connections of the gumnet core through the keypad controller so that's what is being told there right so see here the controller connects to the gumnet io signals on one side right so the controller the controller connects one side the gumnet core and another side on the keypad so that's what so the controller connects to the gumnet io signals on one side of the keypad row and column on one side and the keypad row and column signals on the other side as shown in the figure we decode the port address from the gumnet core externally to the controller to devise a strobe signal andre so proper address bandag matra strobe should be high for the controller then what else is there in the programming so you can just see the program there the so module keypad controller so this is all the um, uh, wishbone connection to the controller what we had done so that i had shown you separately on that day so how to control i u i o controller to the gumnet input clock reset then output cycle is strobe write enable and acknowledge apart from that what else you need address data out and data in so that initialization i had told you so as it was we had taken their 8 bit so this was 0 to 7 so now how to initialize you can see there what all is there input clock is there cycle strobe and we these are must clock cycle strobe and we illi one did the night the next output and acknowledge these are all the control signals the next input data is how much 8 bit data that is 0 to 7 similarly output is from 0 to 7 then next what else keep at row and columns how how much it is 4 cross 3 so what you have to specify it as keep at row 0 to 3 0 1 2 3 so 4 over then column is column is how much 3 so that's why 0 1 and 2 0 1 and 2 so that's why the array is declared from 0 to 2 and for row it is declared from 0 to 3 as it is 4 cross 3 if you it would have been 4 cross 4 then naturally total 16 keys will be there at that time so the initialization will be for row also 0 to 3 and for column also and for column also 3 to 0 and for column also what will be there in hmm what will be there vaishnavi i was keep at row ma three down to ha huh? huh? i couldn't get some two of you are answering what will be there in unmute and answer what will be there array four cross four that time column array will be what three down to zero ma'am okay so three down to zero very good the next one register is being taken that is column sync so what is being done look at the col uh, row register column synchronization only this much will be important so always at pause edge of the clock right if cycle and strobe and write enable so valid cycle strobe and valid uh, write enable bandre matra so that and is there right if you correct if you get all the signal correctly then only you read the Keep at row. So that's why what is being done. Data is zero to three. Whatever red data is there, that is going into keep at row. Right. So the next always at pause edge of the clock. Again begin 
more than one statement that's why begin here always at pause edge of the clock if the clock that is single statement so if more than one statement is there we will use begin and end to so always at pause edge of the clock begin column synchronizer it is begin then what is being done see there can anybody tell me uh, how this works flower bracket is there means what flower bracket is there concatenation ma'am very good so what is being done column sync actually column how many bits are there how many bits you read from the column how many bits you read three bits. From the column 2 bits so 3 bits is there then how many other bits are uh, the remaining 5 bits because it is an 8 bit register right very good so as it is an 8 bit register so first 3 bits you are getting from the column right red column data you are getting then what about the remaining 5 bits because data out this you have declared as 7 bit see there d0 is being declared as 0 to 7 all right so and the column red data is only 3 bits from here to here so what you have to do for the other bits other bits are concatenated as 0 what is there 5 tick b0 that means what the remaining all bits will be stuffed as all 5 bits will be stuffed as zeros there and the remaining the lsb 3 bits will be the data read from the column right so that's why what is being done concatenation of column read and the higher bits which is sent to the do right data out is it clear to you all yes ma'am okay the next whatever keypad column uh, is there that is sent to column sync so you have uh, see there you have declared one temporary register called as column sync so whatever final that uh, uh, data read will be there that is sent it to column sync here end so uh, this is column synchronizer and this is row register and finally what will be done finally you have to send through an acknowledge right this you have to this you have to do acknowledges ending of cycle and strobe you will get send the acknowledge all right cycle and strobe has to be ended and it has to be assigned to the acknowledge and end module so this begin and end will over here only always more than one statement that's why begin and end then this is module and end this is end module okay hmm yes ma'am next is this the controller is connected to a gumnet core so the controller is connected to a gumnet core in an embedded system as shown in the following module outline see uh, just while explanation what we have told uh, keypad controller ange hardware ne gen helakatiwi keypad controller is connected to the gumnet core we are telling right so port address is connected data out is connected to the data in cycle is connected to the cycle out co is connected to cn okay W E out is connected to W E I. Then strobe is connected with the when the valid addresses are matched. Then only after ending it is being connected to the strobe O is connected to strobe I. This is the hard connection what we have shown. But in the software how do these connections are established? So that is shown in that further session section.
So you can see this here. So the controller, how oh, module embedded system, so wire, all that will be there. Parameter 0 to 7, keyboard port address. Port address now is telling What is there in the port address? For both, he has told to use 4, right? Hex 4. Port address, row address is 4, and the keypad address is 4, right? Okay. So, how they are being connected? So, gumnet processor core, see there. Clock, passing the parameter with the dot. This we had studied in Verilog last time, fifth semester. Clock, reset is connected, port cycle, then strobe. Stroke, 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 WE, then acknowledge, then address, data out, and data in. All with the dot parameter passed. Right? That is to the gumnet for processor. So assign keypad stroke is what? Port address 0. Then keypad port address and the port stroke 0. When both are matching, then only you assign this value. Right? Only when assign only when keypad port address and the gumnet core port port address when they both match this output ended with strobe output, then only the value is stored in keypad controller. Right? Keypad address, then the port address are matched when they are equal, then and valid strobe signal also should come then only the data is latched. So this is what is shown there. That's what is you see there. Assign keypad strobe. When keypad strobe is assigned, keypad strobe is assigned. That is nothing but the port address is equal to Port address 0 should be equal to what? Keypad port address and port stroke output. Then only you are assigned to the keypad stroke 0. Then next, how the controller keypad initialization is done? Again, clock using the dot parameter. You can see there. Clock, then cycle, into cycle out, then strobe into strobe 0 then WEO to WEI, then acknowledge to acknowledge in, then data I to data 0, then data 0 to port DI, then keypad row to keypad row and keypad column to keypad column. So that's the initialization. Then finally end module. Right? So like this, the controller is connected to the gumnet core in an embedded system in the below. This is dot parameter is used for uh, passing the, uh, that is connecting the various signals here. Right? So we can observe that dot using the dot parameter and comma is there. So comma again dot next one. So if you are then getting confused, one after the other, you can write the full full assignment on a uh, single disk continuously. Okay. See, uh, port cycle, uh, after uh, assigning the cycle, next line, you can assign the stroke. Next line, WE. Next line, acknowledge. Next line, address. Then data in. Then data out. So one after the other, all you can assign on a single line. If you are getting confused here, don't write column and write the... Next statement. Hello. Congrats, madam. 
ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ನಿನ್ನೆ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ನಾಗ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಅಂತಿತ್ತು ನಾ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ನಿಮ್ದು ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಗೆ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಬಂದೇನೋ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಕೇಳಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಹ ಇನ್ನು ಕಳಿಸಿಲ್ಲ ಕಳಿಸಿಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ನು ನಾನು ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಲೆಕ್ಕ ಹೇಳದಂಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಕಳಿಸಿದ್ರ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಬಂದಿತ್ತು ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಏನು ಇದು ಬಂದತ್ತೆ ನಾನು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಾಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚಿಗೆ ಏನಾರ ಕಳಿಸ್ಯಾರ ಏನು ಕೇಳಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಹೌದಾ ಹಾ ಇನ್ನು ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಇದನ್ನ ಕಳಿಸಿಲ್ಲ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೀಚರ್ ಸರ್ ಇದ್ರು ನಿನ್ನೆ ಇದ್ರಾಗ ಏನಂತಂದ್ರ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡೇಟ್ರಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಅನ್ಕಂಡ್ರಿ ನಾವು ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಅದಕ್ಕ ಬಂದಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಅಂದೆ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಬಂತ್ರಿ ನಿನ್ನೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಏನು ಅದ ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಹಾಸ್ಟೆಲ್ದ ಏನೋ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ರ ಸೈನ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಈಗ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿವಂದ್ರೆ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಗೆ ಈಚ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಎರಡು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ವಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಬಹಳ ಪೇಪರ್ ಇದ್ವಲ್ಲ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಅವರು ಇನ್ನು ಇದನ್ನು ಬರೀ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ನಾಗ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಕಳಿಸಿದ್ರು ಹಂಗೆ ನಿನ್ನೆ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಬರ್ತಾವೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ಸಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಕೇಳಿ ನಿಮಗೂ ಬರ್ತೈತೆ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಓಕೆ So that's about the keypad controller. So next example, see then, design a controller for a, design a controller for a successive approximation ADC. We need to connect and lock to digital converter successive approximation ADC, right? To connect it to a gumnet core, processor core, the controller has a control register whose contents govern the operation of the converter right so in a gumnet core uh, the uh, in the controller what is there there is one register which is going to govern the operation bit 0 and 1 select among the four alternative full scale reference voltages so 0 and 1 bit 0 and 1 are used for selecting the four alternative full scale reference voltages when a 1 is written to bit 2 right the analog voltage is held and a conversion is started when a zero is written to the bit the analog voltage is tracked the controller also has the status register and an input data register bit zero of the status register is one when the conversion is complete and bit zero is and zero otherwise other bits of the register are read as zero so the controller input register contains the converted data so how you do this All right so you can just see there the controller circuit is shown in the figure first uh, you will draw the figure or else time irutatha illa gottilla ಮತ್ತೀಗ ಐದು ಗಂಟೆಗೆ ಹೋಗೋದು ನಿಂತು ಅಂತೀರಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದೇರ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಜೀರೋ ಎ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಔಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಡನ್ ವಿ ಇನ್ ವಿ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೀಸೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ So you can see the signals here, port data, 
port cycle then strobe is there right control signals data in cycle strobe and write enable data in is connected to where all see there d0 d1 d2 right cycle strobe and write enable cycle strobe and write enable all are ended connected to chip enable right then next what else you need reset reset is connected then clock is connected so the same clock is being connected to adc also same reset is connected to adc reset also then port address see there port address i of 0 is connected to 0th one right rest all this is all conversion mean one second solution the control circuit is shown in the figure the control register is enabled control register there when the register will be enabled the control register is enabled when the least significant port address bit least significant port address bit is one during the port write operation least significant bit has to be one so see there that is shown here port address i of 0 right so port address i 0 is also being connected to ended here valid cycle strobe right enable and 0 when it is coming then only the chip is enabled otherwise no so that's why So the controller circuit is shown in the figure. The control register is enabled. When the register is enabled, when the least significant port address bit is 1, it has to be 1 as per the problem. LSB bit has to be 1 during the port write operation. The remaining port address bits are not decoded because it is dependent on only the LSB. So we are not bothering about the other bits. Then bit 0 and 1 of the register are decoded to control 4 analog switches. See, next we have to look for the 4 analog switches. Four analog switches are there, right? 0 and 1. So you can see there two two analog switches this one y0 y1 y2 and y3 are connected to the four switches here all right these four switches are connected two to four multiplexer two bits here so from where these two bits are coming q0 and q1 these two are connected all right so q0 and q1 this will be decoded to four there all right and q2 is being used where so this Q2 you see there that is connected to the start and the same start is connected here when the V in V in is coming when valid start is connected then only the switch is closed right so the same V in is being connected here right and V reference 0 1 2 and 3 it's all voltages are connected to a common point common point and it is connected to the V reference of the ADC. So V in is coming from here and V reference is coming through the register there. All right. So see there. The remaining port address bits are not decoded. Bits 0 and 1 of the Register are decoded to control the four analog switches that select the reference voltage. Very, very reference voltage in select mode that you are using. Then what about the bit two of the register controls the sample and hold component and the start signal of the ACD, ADC. The start signal. The bit two already I, told, I showed you. Bit two is connected to the start signal of the 
ADC and this is also connected to the sample and hold circuit. So this I told you with two. So that's why only three port addresses D0, D1 and D2 which are connected from the data in port data I. Three bits are being used there. All right. So bit 2 of the register controls the sample and hold component and the start signal of the ADC. The least significant port address bit is also used to select between the ADC data value and ADC done status signal. See there, this fellow was there, no? This bit port address 0 was there, which was controlling here. This fellow is also connected to 2 to 1 multiplexer here, right? So if it is 0, then directly the D out, whatever the converted data is there from the ADC that is being connected at the output side, port out 0, data 0 there, right? Then if it is 1, then where it is going to indicate the done signal, 1 nit tantandre, done signal, right? So the same thing is being told. So the least significant bit to port address bit is also used to select between the ADC data value and the ADC done status signal. Thus, when the processor performs the port read at address 0, thus when the processor performs the port read at address 0, it reads the ADC data and when it performs port read address as 1, then it reads the done status. So that is the solution. So is it clear to you all, all of you? Kirita? Yes, ma'am. See what is being done. How many of you are there? Only seven. Sumulata, Kirti Nayak, Sai Kalyan, Gautam Kumar, Ashwini. Ashta Irodo. Hmm? Vaishnavi? Yes, ma'am. Is it clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Sumulata, Kirti. Yes, ma'am. It is. Sixty one regular attack, Madadadu. Innan Sarthi Yarbutin Nodrali. Yenantadre. ADC do. So this is ADC here. And from here to here, in the controller is now the either la reference voltage or the VIN voltage. So ADC successive approximation ADC and the other. So successive approximation ADC again, what we main voltage VIN on the birth of the So that is being connected to the ADC. Other the reference voltage is becala voltage divider use muddy reference voltage is becala. So in the example. Either 2 volts, either 4 volts, either 6 volts, either 8 volts, and color. So, yen marthati, V in voltage, either 2 volts, either compare madi, yen uh, and we are converting it into digital there through, uh, through the voltage divider network. So, how the controller is going to work for it? So, what is there? Main now control signals, no, no, cycle, lo, strobe, write enable, more, no, and madi, chip enable, connect madi, register. Edu. Uh, right, register chip enable connect made. But if but the shell then the problem again hill and antandre address birth in uh, address eight bit address or a not to a seven a eight bit address it and this a not address is in controlling address and tanata only that's why see there port address input zeroth bit is considered only zeroth bit. So only when valid one value one is coming on this line then only the chip is enabled. So the least significant bit has to be one and the dama. Antandre no A not bit one nidre matra chip enable. So chip enable it. Matin will keep the connections as it is. Reset and through reset connect again, clock and to clock you connect again. So once a chip enable other data input test bits to only now three bits a stay. 0, 1, 2, 3. So D naught, D1, D2. So parallel its registers output is Q naught, Q1, and Q2. Here Q naught and Q1. Two inputs are again given to the two to four multiplexer. So 
डी नाट डी वन से वोलटेज डिवैडर नेटवर्क यूज वै नाट वै वन वै टू एंड वै थ्री सो यू वैलिड वै नाट वै वन वै टू वै थ्री बंद वि रेफर जीरो वन टू एंड थ्री रेफर वोलटेज बरत सो वि इन मत रेफर वोलटेज कंपेर वालिड स्टार्ट सिग्नल बंदा ए डी सी हाज टू डू द कन्वर्शन मत वालिड स्टार्ट सिग्नल बर वन मोर दट इज दर्ड बिट क्यू थ्री सो क्यू थ्री इज गोयिंग टू कंट्रोल द स्टार्ट सिग्नल आज वेल आज वेल इट इज गोयिंग टू कंट्रोल द वि इन आलो सो यू कनेक्ट आगतल दैलिड वि इन इज गोयिंग टू कम देर रईट सो इट रिगार्डिंग ए डी सी सो वि इन वि रेफर वालिड स्टार्ट सिग्नल बंद तक वाट एवर द कन्वर्टेड व्याल्यू इज देर दट इज कमिंग आउट टू द डी औट हियर रईट सो अदूड डी औट इन कन्वर्शन आयतु अंत तोर्सक डन सिग्नल कूड़ा सो दैट इज अगेन कंट्रोल बै विच फेलो दट इज द लीस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट ए नाट ए जीरो इज गोयिंग टू कंट्रोल हियर सो इफ ए जीरो बिट इज जीरो नोड्री इट इज कनेक्टेड टू द जीरो जीरो मीन वाट द कन्वर्टेड व्याल्यू डेटा डी औट इज कमिंग आन टू पोर्ट डेटा जीरो If it is one, if it is one, that is indicates A zero one. And that the conversion is being done already, right? And ADC also needs reset and clock, so that's why this is connected to the reset, and this is connected to the clock. So same reset and synchronous. Here do co register again, but ADC the same reset and clock is connected, right? So this is the full uh, connection for circuit for controller for successive approximation ADC. And this one, this one, this one is very important. In another way, valid cycle is true. Input when the error will end, but that acknowledge will be there. So it will not acknowledge in two sila. So this will be always there. So acknowledge if both can tender, both should be ended. Both high the matter, the acknowledge will be activated. Is it clear to you all? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you can take the screenshot. so that next time understanding the circuit will be easy for you all okay is it okay yes ma'am yes ma'am so i will stop here one second next is autonomous io controllers So I'll start this in the next class. Autonomous IVO controllers, parallel buses, multiplexed bus, tri-state buses. The the chapter is module four. Open ring bus protocols. Serial transmission. Square C. Then interrupts, timers. Only give me get that. So we are only here. We completed the transducers, sensors, and actuators. Uh, and lock to digital devices. ADC is a flash type of successive approximation. I do digital to analog converters. I do R string, R two R ladder. Input devices no need be, output devices no need be. I'm like controller, input output control. Still we are here, controllers. Then buses, serial transmission, real time software, polling, interrupts and timers. Still uh, half the chapter is there. Okay.